let's meet our next interviewee, Fred from Ari Bio. Fred, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Oh, thank you. So uh, let me ask you a question. Could you briefly introduce your company, Ari Bio? Sure. Uh, first of all, my name is Fred Kim. I'm the Associate Director of Clinical Operations at Ari Bio. Ari Bio is a biopharmaceutical company based in South Korea with its U.S. office based in San Diego. Ari Bio develops new drugs for diseases with high unmet medical needs. And an attribute that is special to Ari Bio is that we develop drugs with polypharmacological mechanisms of action. And Ari Bio has two main therapeutic focus areas. One of it is neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. And the second is infectious disease, uh, such as sepsis and viral infections. So just to briefly give you an overview of each therapeutic areas, in neurodegenerative area, uh, our lead compound is AR1001. AR1001 is a small molecule uh, with polypharmacological mechanisms of action. And its main therapeutic effects include uh, improving neurogenesis, inhibiting neuron apoptosis, uh, improving synaptic uh, plasticity, and also helping the clearance of toxic proteins. Um, with AR1001, we are focusing on the therapeutics of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, it's currently ongoing a phase two study in the US over um, across 21 uh, clinical sites. We have completed patient enrollment uh, this year in June, and we expect to have last patient last dosing by the end of this year. And hopefully we'll do a, a top line results uh, readout by early next year. Other than AR1001, we have various uh, second generation uh, CNS related drug candidates in our backup pipeline. They are all ongoing non-clinical research. For the infectious disease area, we have AR1003 as our lead compound. AR1003 is also a small molecule that we are developing for sepsis. Uh, we, are uh, we have positioned it for sepsis initially because of its therapeutic effects in suppressing cytokine storm or uh, immune system overreaction due to infections, as well as its effects in bacteria, uh, stimulating bactericidal effects. However, recently we have done some more preclinical research with AR1003 and we found out that AR1003 can help reduce viral activity after viral infection by suppressing its entry into cells. So we are expanding AR1003's indication into severe COVID-19 infected patients. And we hope to enter our phase one clinical trial by Q1 or Q2 of next year. Wow, sounds very promising and uh, interesting. Thank so you. is there any reason why you focus on polypharmacology? Yes, um, we believe that complex diseases with multifactorial causes such as Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, Parkinson's, as well as sepsis, um, you need to develop a drug with multiple therapeutic targets or multiple mechanisms of action um, to produce a meaningful clinical effect in patients. Although the classical single target, single drug approach has had its own successes in the past, we believe to, uh, that complex diseases require polypharmacological drugs in order to have a meaningful impact in the patient's lives. So if you look at our pipeline, most of the drugs have an aspect of polypharmacology uh, in them, uh, including multiple therapeutic targets, multiple mechanisms of action, or its development as a combination therapy. Sounds nice. It's like killing multiple birds with one stone, yes. basically. Great. So uh, what can we look forward to in the future from your company? For Aribio, the most anticipated event is early next year, our readout of top line results of AR1001's phase two clinical trial for Alzheimer's disease. Uh, we have been fascinated by the active participation of the patient community and their positive feedback. And we are grateful that we have been able to run this study without major issues, even during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we are very much looking forward to announcing the top line results. 
and we hope to progress into phase three and beyond uh, moving forward. Yes, I wish you best of luck. Thank you for sharing time with us today. Thank you.